Okay, we have an O3 International with a DT-466 that's not building oil pressure and we've changed the high pressure oil pump and all the sensors involved, the ICP, the fuel pressure sensor, and we still just can't have it to run. So what I've done is I've taken off the high pressure oil line that runs into the high pressure oil rail. This 90 just comes right out of here and it hooks in to the high pressure oil rail right here. Like so. And all that hooks right into here. I've taken this fitting out and I've made my own fitting with a JIC piece and I have an O-ring back just like the O-ring back on this piece right here. Pop it right in there. It's not building oil pressure. Oil pressure should be about 800 PSI. We're only getting oil pressure at about 200 PSI. So what I do, I put my uh, adapter piece in, just something I made up from stuff laying around the shop, making sure the threads fit. I hook up just a little bit of shop air to it, and then I just bump it a little bit. You can hear the air hissing out. There should be no air escaping whatsoever. But if you look here on injector, that's where we have air leaking coming from. So that's an easy way to tell if we have an air leak or a seal leaking there. Now I have the valve cover removed, but if you just have the valve cover on, you can remove the intake tube going into the valve cover. And if you hit the air, you'll be able to hear the hiss if you put your ear up to the tube. If you hear air hissing out, um, and if oil's not squirting back all over you if you uh, put air to it, then you definitely have a leak on one or all your injectors or something's wrong in the high pressure oil rail. So I'm going to remove the injector, change the O-rings, put it back in, and get it back on the road.